Hey guys, I'm Chris Norwood on a journey to hear every song ever recorded. And today I'm doing a very special requested video project. I had a co-worker suggest a very interesting concept. And we're going to see if it makes me a YouTube superstar celebrity. His idea, not mine, I cannot take the credit for it, I can just take the views for it. His idea is to suggest a pairing of music and drink. You listen to a song or an album or a concert or a single or an EP and you pair it with a fine wine or or you know whatever kind of liquids you like to consume. Today is going to be my first pairing of music and drink. And I'm going to pick a song off of Green Day's American Idiot, the greatest piece of artwork of all time. And it's going to be the longest track that Green Day have ever recorded. A lot of people think it's Jesus of Suburbia. It's actually Homecoming. It's going to be the uh, 12th track, the penultimate almost near finale of the greatest album of all time. What do you think of when you think of American Idiot? What 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 are the what are the items, what are the what are the flavors that go into your brain as you're listening to the story of Mike Durnt being left alone to rot and record in the studio by himself? Little did we know that this would lead to the creation of the greatest piece of artwork ever. Homecoming. What does it remind me of? Hold on one second while I grow. While I grow. I, I don't think I'm growing anymore. Hold on one second while I go and get some Green Day merch. Now I actually have two coffee mugs that are Green Day related. Um, the, the obvious one would be my father of all dark roasts, Oakland coffee mug, which I'm going to be using today. My other Green Day related mug is going to be New Orleans. New Orleans was founded in 1718 by some dude. By that dude. That one is, uh, that one is Green Day related because uh, there was a house. In New Orleans, they call, ooh, sorry, the Superdome. It's been a run of many a poor chihuahuas, and Buddy knows he's won. I cried to my daddy on the telephone, how long now? So anyway, what drink goes with the, what, what proper pairing? Ugh. Rotten dishwasher liquid. What, what proper pairing of drink and Green Day's homecoming is the most fitting? Like if you ask your wait, your musical waiter or waitress, what uh, what drink would go good with your homecoming steak? I'm gonna have to say overwhelmingly, and I think you'll agree that it's a Nestle's coffee mates. I'm not laughing. I'm crying because home homecoming is so emotional. French vanilla Nestle coffee mate. Uh, you get like, uh, it's got flowers and like dirty sticks and uh, it's warm and rich. Your day just isn't the same unless you get the taste of warm, rich vanilla on your side. It's perfect when, when your coffee needs a little extra something because this vanilla is anything but vanilla. What is it? Anything but Plain. Let's just, uh, so I was going to pour it in my mug, 
But you know what? I think you guys won't believe it. See, it is actually creamer. I love creamer. Mm. I might I might add some coffee to it at some point. <clears throat> Greatest album of all time, guys. Goes well. Nestles. Coffee Mate Creamer. I am, if you don't know, I'm doing a series all about Green Day. And this is just a little fun video. I'm going to be deep diving into their entire catalog, their entire career, their instruments, their albums, their compilations, their unreleased material, their vinyl records, their CD records, their cassettes, their guitar picks, their unicorn plushies, their puking unicorns, their drunken bunnies, the color pink, bad words. I'm going to be counting the bad words. I'm going to be counting the uh, lyrical concepts in every album. I'm going to be talking about how every album is a concept album, even the ones that aren't concept albums. I'm going to be talking about Billy Joe, The Long Shot, The Foxborough Hot Tubs, Not The Network, um, Rodeo Queens, Jesse Malin, Jesse Malin, however you say his name, Pinhead Gunpowder, um, all these people, anybody, The Riverdales. Anybody and everybody, I might do like a, a nine degrees of Kevin Bacon, or it's going to be like the 10,000 degrees of Green Day. I'm a nerd, and we're going to talk about Green Day a whole, whole, whole lot. So please like and subscribe. Uh, Green Day Authority members, you guys can subscribe just like anybody else, even people that don't like Green Day. You guys can all subscribe alike. Thank you.